Right now we're living in a world of split government. Democrats control the Senate while Republicans control the House. But all of that could change on Tuesday. So let's start by taking a look at the Senate where right now this is the balance of power. Democrats have 48 seats along with the three independents that caucus with Democrats compared to 49 seats for Republicans. So essentially Democrats have a 51 to 49 seat majority. Republicans are really hopeful that they could change that starting with West Virginia where longtime Democrat Senator Joe Manchin announced his retirement, essentially opening the door in this ruby red state for Republican Governor Jim Justice to win the Senate seat. From there, Republicans are hopeful that they could really go on offense, including in Montana, where right now John Tester, a moderate Democrat, is trying to hold on to his position in a state that went for Trump by 16 percentage points in 2020. They're also targeting uh, Ohio, where right now Sherrod Brown, another moderate Democrat, is trying to hold on against Trump-backed Republican Bernie Moreno. Now, if there's one opportunity where Democrats think they might be able to go on offense, it's in Texas. That's where right now Senator Ted Cruz is trying to hold on to his seat facing off against Colin Allred. So those are gonna be some big uh, races to watch in the Senate. Let's talk about the House now, where right now it's 220 to 212. Republicans have the majority. Democrats would need to flip just a handful of states to take back that majority. They're really hopeful that they're gonna be able to do so starting on Tuesday. For Spectrum News, I'm Evan Kozlov.